Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are in the world today, it is a divine pleasure to have each and every one of you here. And coming in beautiful souls off the back of the last couple of days is a message that I've been hanging on to. They said, do not release this. This is the last one, right? Which is a beautiful, beautiful way, by the way, to wrap up this week on these signs of the times. We've had some big, beautiful energies coming out in the last couple of days, which is amazing because, you know, those heavy energies from about a week ago, I'm pretty sure hit most people on the planet. You know, we've got all these solar flares popping off. We've got all these activations and light codes and sun energy and, you know, purging and releasing. We went through Scorpio season, which was a lot of shadow work for many of us as well. This one, beautiful souls, you know, I feel heavily. Well, firstly, the card is number 42, tree and ancestry. And it has on the card, family reunion. And the little message down there says, honoring our roots. Beautiful souls. More than ever, the first thing I felt was, well, two things. Number one, your ancestors, your family members who have passed over are with you at this time. And it makes sense, right? And I'm just getting goosebumps as I'm saying this. That, you know, your family members, particularly over this holiday season, this Christmas season coming up, that many of you will start to feel the presence, especially of passed over family members, people that you were close to, grandparents, for example, could be parents, could be children, could be brothers, sisters, siblings, etc. The clarifier, beautiful souls, couldn't have been more perfect. Feather and messages and it's a number seven so sevens as you know beautiful souls we've been in a seven year all about spiritual enlightenment all about higher perspectives and you know going through that deep inner work right on a soul level but I heavily feel over this Christmas holiday season for many of you you are going to be getting signs and symbols from your ancestors from your family members who are watching over you at this time and they are going to be sending you signs and symbols and confirmation that they are around you and feathers of course beautiful souls we know they are one of the biggest ones that our angels will send in i see white feathers which i love that's archangel michael my daughter actually picked up one just the other day in a really random spot and it was just beautiful. She brought it up to me and she's like, Mummy, Archangel Michael's just left us, left us another feather. So I can, I've, got, I've actually got it in my car um, to remind myself that our angels, our soul team, our spirit team, our ancestors, our family members are always with us, but heavily coming through in this next season. And beautiful souls, they also were, were reminding me when I first um, pulled this out too, was the roots, right? The big, beautiful tree, right? Which is representing you, but also strong roots. You are most likely also the family generational curse breaker. That was another message that I um, got when I first pulled this out, right? So you are being honored by your ancestors and your family members upstairs because you are the one that your family lineage have been waiting for. You are the one beautiful souls and many of you have had to go through some heavy, heavy breaking of generational curses, vows, contracts, oaths, agreements, covenants. And of course, beautiful souls, they're going to come in and let you know that you have done an amazing, amazing job and they are with you at this time. And so beautiful souls, the message is coming in. So number 42, family reunion. They're just saying too, you know, maybe a lot of you obviously are going to be having family reunions over this Christmas period. Maybe for some of you, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but again, beautiful souls, you know, they just said credit where credit's due. So if you've been doing all of this work, especially to clear out these, you know, karmic patterns out of your bloodline, you will be rewarded for that. A tree is only as strong as its roots. 
which tend to extend deeper into the earth with each generation. You carry the name and bloodline of those who came before you, as well as their strengths and struggles, triumphs and traumas. And I've talked about generational curses and things before too, beautiful souls. Everything is in our DNA, everything. From generations back, you may wonder why you procrastinate. You may wonder why you worry so much. You may wonder why there's certain illnesses that run through the family bloodline. You know, if you go back through your ancestral history, you will most likely find, if possible, the generation or the actual family member that it started with. And remember what I've always said, beautiful souls, our ancestors, can you imagine living right generations ago, hundreds, thousands of years ago, beautiful souls, biblical days, right? Killing people, selling family members, right? Robbing people, all of these things. We do not know what karmic um, patterns we have been carrying and what karmic curses have been placed over us to clear in this lifetime, beautiful souls. So patterns especially, struggles, triumphs and traumas, many of you have been breaking this off yourselves. Honour these ancestors by living in your purpose and learning more about where you came from. And I'm looking up beautiful souls because a beautiful little par um, parrot has just landed on my balcony as I'm talking about this. Um, this tree is also a symbol of longevity and the desire to build a legacy and generational wealth for your family. And I heavily feel that that is many of you out there as well. You are the one beautiful souls. You've done the work, they're just saying, so you will be the one that will be rewarded. And remember, we have a storehouse in heaven, beautiful souls, of everything that has been lost, stolen, taken, manipulated away from us and our ancestors, a storehouse with your name on it right generational wealth legacy wealth and many of you are building that in this next season you have said enough is enough you know you are going from scarcity lack poverty not having enough there's going to be something that will happen that will shift that trajectory in your life beautiful souls if you've done the work <laughs> If you have received signs to put up and develop deeper connections with living family members, this is the time to follow through and reinforce those bonds. That's why I was saying over Christmas, beautiful souls, family reunions, right? For some of you, it's going to be you that extends maybe an olive branch or you that comes in from a higher awareness and higher perspective to open up dialogues maybe if things have been a little bit um, frozen a little bit frosty they're just saying with certain family members this card could also indicate a family or legacy related matter that needs your attention possibly involving property inheritances or uncovering a truth from the past remember everything that's done in the dark will be brought to light beautiful souls and as we progress into 2024 let me tell you world events, all of these things are all happening for a reason, right? Things will start to surface and this can also be happening, beautiful souls. What was done in the dark is going to be brought to light. There may be some sudden shocks or, um, um, you know, certain situations that come up with your own family that are going to be quite shocking. Revelations, they're just saying. And you could take revelations as a two different ways. You could take it as revelation, the book of revelation, because that's basically where we're at right now, beautiful souls, but also revelations with family, with, you know, family secrets and things like that as well. You may be the one who has been assigned the task of breaking generational curses. Oh, yes, you have been placing and connecting 
with ancestral practices, beautiful souls. So again, maybe learning about your family history at this time, spending time learning from your family. Family may be growing, right? So for some of you, this could be pregnancy, right? For some of you, congratulations if it is. But again, finding strength and comfort in where you come from. So family lineage, bloodlines, beautiful souls, family members around you in this season and feathers. Oh my goodness, I just loved, I love this message. Messages coming in, number seven, could be in the next seven days or seven weeks, beautiful souls. Over this next period, it's going to be sooner rather than later because they just keep giving me Christmas, December. An encounter with a feather is the equivalent of a divine special delivery. If you find a feather on a walk or randomly notice one out of your window, it's connecting you to the wonder of the spiritual world. Be open and receptive to the messages that the universe is sending at this time. The black feather pitchin, I don't know if I'd call that black, but um, it looks more like they keep saying the word peacock feather, but it's not a peacock feather, but it has those kind of colors in it, beautiful souls. Is uh, In the sand is a message that you are surrounded by your angels and a reminder to be open to their wisdom and guidance. And I also heavily feel, obviously, with this card that it is also messages from your family members upstairs, right? A divine presence is watching over you and wants to pass along an encouraging message. Remain open to the insights that you receive at this time. You are being gifted with information that will assist you in your journey if you only stop and listen. The color of the feather you come across has its own special meaning. And that is so true, beautiful souls. Whatever feather you find, and I see lots of white feathers, beautiful souls. My daughter actually picked one up the other day. It's now in my car. I always feel Archangel Michael, you know, and usually I'm stressing about something or talking to them about something, and then suddenly there will be a feather um, in front of me. And as I said, my daughter loves finding them. She often runs up to me and says, Mum, Archangel Michael has been here again. Um, so, yes, Look up the meaning of the color of the feather that you find, beautiful souls, because let me tell you, many of you will. Many of you might see it in a, you know, it might be a picture in a book. It could be on a t uh, movie or a TV show. It could be, you know, obviously out, you know, walking around in the parks or wherever you go, beautiful souls. It could be, you know, on a uh, shop window or a car or a truck that you drive past. Just stay open, beautiful souls. And I got goosebumps as I said that. So don't just think that it's going to be real feathers. I'm feeling that a lot of them will be, but it could also be pictures of, could be in your social media feeds as well. On the right path. How many times do so many of you out there want to know, am I on the right path? I'm pretty sure it's a daily mantra. You are on the right path, beautiful souls. And you absolutely are because obviously you've got the ancestral card here as well. Like you are being guided by your um, family members upstairs, by your soul team, by the angels, obviously by God, you know, you've got your own spiritual blueprint. They're making sure that you're in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. Pay attention to messages. Now, this could also be messages, beautiful souls are just saying coming in, text messages, you know, private messages in your um, chat boxes, uh, could be emails and things as well, but more messages. So it could be text messages, DMs, you know, in your Instagram and Facebook and things like that. But also, obviously, divine messages from above. Someone wants to communicate with you. Now, this could be someone physically, could be a family member, could be someone that you've had a rift with, a falling out with, haven't spoken to in a while. Um, things, as I said before, could have been a bit frosty and icy. There could have been some kind of family event that basically, you know, had you all walking away in different directions. Could also be, as I said, beautiful souls, messages coming in from your soul team and your family members upstairs. Could also be messages in general. 
as I said before, someone wanting to communicate with you, be someone that you haven't spoken to for a while. Look, look out for a meaningful call, text or email. Oh my goodness, beautiful souls. Messages coming in. But again, I feel heavily guided to say that a lot of this has to do with passed over loved ones and your ancestors um, that are in the spiritual realm right now. And they're just saying, great job. A lot of you, you know, you need to give yourselves 15, 15 when I look down, you need to give yourselves a pat on the back for just how much work you have done for your family bloodline. And this is why Beautiful Souls, it was talking about before, about generational wealth and legacy wealth, because you have been the one that your bloodline has been waiting for. There is also rewards. And I heavily feel that this is why they wanted this message at the end of those other big, beautiful messages that have been coming out over these past few days, right? Everything has a corresponding energy attraction so beautiful souls if you've done the work then the rewards must come in beautiful souls hit me up in the comments let me know what's going on that one especially as i said they had me sitting on that for about three or four days it actually came out basically straight away when i started using these messages at the start of the week but they said no like park that one to the side. Normally it's as they come out is how they are delivered. But beautiful souls, let me know in the comments. First time viewers, if you feel divinely led, hit the little notifications bell, subscribe to my channel if that has resonated with you. And of course, beautiful souls, if you can hit the thumbs up button for me, let YouTube know that you love these messages so they go out to more people, share them out with other people. Maybe you could send these some of you might get it on your heart to send these to family members that you haven't spoken to in a while if they are spiritually awake. Um, however that resonates, beautiful souls, I send each and every one of you so much love and I will see you in here for the next one. Have the most beautiful, blessed, abundant day. Bye for now.